<coughs> okay, uh, today's topic is about river capture or in other words we call it as uh, beheading. So what actually is this beheading? Uh, we will uh, understand this in this uh, in this lecture. River beheading means when a river erodes at its head, at its head or at its source. For example, if a river is flowing in this direction and the second river is flowing in this direction, okay, this is the direction of two winds, this is river A and this is river B. What happens? When river A or B, B, when it erodes at its head or at its source, for example, this is the source of river A and this is the source of river B. So, river B erodes at its head, erodes at its head and erodes towards its backward, backward and captures this river. When a river erodes at its source or its head and captures another river, this is called as river capture or river beheading. Okay. So, what happens here? River continuously erodes in this direction and captures this river and the river flows then start, it, it, it starts flowing in this direction and so on. Okay. So, I can say here because of this beheading valley valley gets what valley gets lengthened okay lengthened valley gets what valley gets lengthened first the valley was like this now first valley was like this but it has captured this area now the area has been increased so what happens here valley gets what lengthened okay valley gets what lengthened River B has captured river A. So, this river is called what? This river is called captor. This river is called captor river. Okay. When the river B captures river A, this river is called captor river and this river which has been captured, which has been captured is called, is called beheaded, is called beheaded stream. If anyone will ask you what is the proof, what is the evidence that the river has been captured by some other river. So, proof here is there are two proofs. Number one is, <coughs> number one is uh, you can write uh, elbow, elbow of river. What is elbow? For example, if river First, the river was moving in this direction and the second river was moving in this direction. It beheaded at its head and captured another river. This is called the elbow, elbow of river. If at any place you find the elbow, that means the river has been captured. Second is, second, this, this area, this area is called, number two, this area is called wind gap. Whenever you find these two features anywhere, whenever you find these two features, elbow of the river and wind gap, that is the proof for you that you can say this is the area or this is the place where river has been captured by somebody, other river. So, this river B captured the river A and this river is called captor river and the river which has been captured, this is called beheaded river and the proof is elbow and the proof is wind gap okay so these are two proofs so what are the necessary conditions where we can have this type of uh, river capture or what's known as river beheading so we should have what are the conditions what are the conditions necessary for the development of the beheading or the river capture number one condition is you should have what is known as steep slope okay you, you should have what is known as steep slope and the second thing is you should have the U stage, U stage of river, okay. This is the second ideal condition for this process and the third is, third is you should have what? You should have soft, you should have soft rocks. So, these three are the ideal conditions, okay, which helps us 
in form in the formation of this process called river capture or river beheading okay we also say river beheading okay river beheading is one of the most powerful geomorphological processes one of the most powerful one of the most powerful geo morphological processes this is one of the most power one of the important or most powerful geographical processes okay so this is about river capture and you can write examples here some of the rivers has been captured by indus river some of the rivers have been captured by even even brahmaputra river so number 1 you can write example uh, you can write example uh, example is indus river indus river has captured okay many rivers at the source and second you can write uh, second you can write brahmaputra okay so these are the examples these are ideal conditions and this is the concept which we have understood okay so this was all about today thank you very much